Well, the ding says we're ready. Again, please uh, lower your hands as we will allow questions here uh, the last 30 minutes of this chat. And so um, we're ready to get started, Ron. Uh, of course, you know the topic tonight is manifestation. Uh, we spent some time in an uh, audio chat setting doing some questions on it uh, previously. And so we wanted to have a little bit more dialogue on a live setting with you about it. So can we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's do. Okay. So there were some discussion points that we wanted to bring up and have you just kind of take it in whatever direction you choose to. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and read them off. And there's only a few. And then whatever time is left will allow people to come in and ask. And and last again, last thing is please lower your hands uh, until it's time to ask questions. OK, you're not going to go first if your hands raised now. So please go ahead and lower them if you can. OK, Ron. Um, First thing, when it comes to the part of manifestation, and I know you say this all the time, that whatever you focus on is what will be the result of what will be created. And so in that process of this understanding and, and kind of getting that into a perspective of what we're going to, which is coming out of the lack mentality and into abundance and, and, and whatever that abundance mentality offers us and not necessarily funds, but just the overall abundance of our new planet and what that will look like. Can you comment on this manifestation piece as it relates to coming out of lack and moving into abundance? Uh, yes. <clears throat> a, a little bit of background in the process. The, the creation energy has a process to it. And um, we are the creators. Those who are children who were, we're calling this third dimension words, born in the image and likeness of God. Uh, that's, that's a third dimension way of looking at it. Um, the way that I see it is that prime creator is pure intelligence and pure love. And that is expressed out into an individuation of each of us with a portion of the the prime or excuse me a, a portion of the pure intelligence and the pure love that is given to us as creators to use for the creation process now there's things set up so that we as creators don't have to overly concern ourselves with the creation being taken care of um, the universe and i don't know of a better way to say it the universe has is is basically called a well i don't hear it called that but i'm going to say that it is a fulfillment center in other words you create something and that's the fulfillment god said let there be light there was a fulfillment center that created the light. It was the creation energy, and that energy goes out into matter unorganized. The smallest particles are called atom antine particles. And together, they coalesce into form an atom. And the atoms are then uh, can I say reconstructed for the purposes for which they need to be um, coalesced into form. And it's all in fulfillment of what we ask for. So <clears throat> there is a plan for, for all of this uh, from the spirit into the physicality, the non-physical to the physical, there are nature spirits and the god of the nature spirits is called pan p-a-n and that's why we hear peter pan and uh, stuff like that that we don't really understand a lot of what's going on and perhaps neither do the people who said peter pan but it doesn't matter the nature kingdom with fairies and gnomes and uh, 
there's a lot of different names for them. They are the ones that go out into matter and organize and organize it into a way that coalesces into a form the form that we have created. So let there be light. Well, the, the nature kingdoms go out and create and, and bring in to uh, coalesce into form by having light. And there, that's the basic way of creation energy being used by those who have been given the authority and the responsibility to create. Now, along with that came my mind sometimes doesn't get me there when I want to go, but a free agency, the concept of free agency. Free agency mean we're agents of our prime creator. Free agency means that we have the freedom to create what we as creators want to create. Now you you need to, we all need to understand that we are in physicality and we are in a third dimensional realm that has a lot of constraints and a lot of problems associated with us so that we don't really understand. But if we can for a moment go back, at least in our minds, to our spiritual essence, we are massive individual or spiritual essence that was given to us by Prime Creator to be creators. Let's call that our consciousness our intelligence and our love quotient are the consciousness that we bring with us and with that we get to create things and can create things and are commanded to do so by prime creator every person has every human beings let's put it that way has that essence, that individuated portion of prime intelligence and I, I said prime. Let's let's use the term pure, because that's what I've been saying. Pure intelligence and pure love. That is the energy that is the creation energy. And I call that and it, somebody can Correct me on it if they'd like to, but I call that consciousness. That's who we are. That's our essence. And as we go from the non-physical into the physical, we bring that consciousness with us. Is our full consciousness with us now? No, I don't believe so. Because we have been raised in a third dimension that has been controlled by others that are not working in our best interest and have not for thousands of years. This is all changing. Our requirement is to let go of things that are not true. Now we can have things that are not true and still have a habit or a belief in them. We can have faith in, in that. And if it is true, then it brings to fruition that which we believe in. If it's not true, then it, it stays where it is and does not become manifest to us as we move forward. And there are thousands, perhaps thousands, hundreds of thousands. There's a way to believe in these things that are not true that is conditioned as we grow up in third dimension. We can't get around it because that's what we came into and born into and were raised by our parents to believe in these things. 
Now, if we believe in them ourselves and, and start promoting them to our children, you can see the generations that have lived without the knowledge of who we really are. That essence of what we were raised in is the cabal's way of doing things. Now, let's just look at this from that perspective. As a plant in the biology of plants and so forth, you had the photosynthesis. That's where the sun comes down and the, and the plant changes the photosynthesis or goes through photosynthesis and, and changes that into usable energy for the plant. That's a, a process that is natural. It is the same process that the cabal has taken over and they need the negative energies, not the sun energy, negative energies to maintain their life. They are not creators. So they come to us and, and go through the manipulations and everything that is necessary. And in that, in in those manipulations, we are taught to fear. That's not natural for us to fear, but we are taught to fear. Why? Because they need us to be in fear to create the energies that they need to live on. So, what have they given us to create those fears? Well, every traumatic experience you've had in your life is the first time. And then every time you remember it and bring it up again, your mind doesn't know the difference. It feels like it's brand new. And if your mind will fill in all of the details, it brings it that much more negative energy by recreating and recreating and recreating. Do you understand then why we have to remember the Holocaust and, and go back and have a day where we remember the Holocaust or any public things like that? We just went through December 7th. That was Pearl Harbor Day. We get a chance to go back and have the same negative energies that we had, or if we were at uh, the, the Pearl Harbor, when the bombs going off and the killing and the sinks, the sh ships being sunk and bodies still in those ships because you can't open it up and take them out. They just are there. Those are the kinds of negative energies that are in the past. And so our minds will go to the past. Why? Because we're conditioned to do that. Because that feeds the negative energies to the, the, to the cabal. And without us creating or recreating those negative experiences, they have nothing to live on. Now, they're trying to kill most of us off because for what, whatever reason they have. Uh, let's get rid of 90% of humanity because we have to feed them and all that sort of stuff. But they've got to have enough of what is feeding them to be able to live. So when you bring up negative energies, then you have some problems. Okay. If we focus on the negative things, which they want us to, to create the food for them, then we forget about the future. We don't even concern ourselves about what's coming. Our habits are holding us into their illusion and control. We think we're in control of our life. We are not in control of our life until you quit bringing up the past 
until you quit bringing up the and recreating the negative stuff that has taken place in the past. So let's just turn our backs to the past and let's look into the future. Let's focus on what we are creating now using our creation energies, our potential to manifest the things that are coming that we have been teaching about, that we have been learning about, the newness of life, the new earth, the golden age of mankind. How many of us really know about the golden age? How many of us really know what we are trying to create? We have opposition, we have habits, we have beliefs in things that are not true that were conditioned by the raising of us in their illusion. We're conditioned for those th kinds of things. So that's why we have trouble moving to the next step. That which you focus on is what you create. That's the creation energy. Now let's go back to the universe. The universe is a fulfillment house, the fulfillment things, whatever you want to call it. They have no, that has no judgment, good or bad or evil or anything like that. And why is that true? Because we are children of God with free agency to create whatever we want that creation energy can be used for other things. And that's what the ally or the cabal has done to us so that we'll create for them. And so we focus on the past and we re recreate that past for their purposes. If we could, if we turn our backs to the past, and start creating things that we can focus on, ways that we can find joy and happiness in our creation energies. That's what we need to seek. How can you do that if you're focusing on things that are negative? The universe doesn't care if we go to, it'll, it'll take us to wherever we want to go. And how do they know what we want? Because we focus on it. So if you're focusing on negative things or even things of the past, things that have caused trauma in our lives, sadness, it happens to us all the time until we can get a chance to take a look at things. I do not want that anymore. The universe is saying, oh, we, we've thought all this time, we thought that's what you wanted because that's what you were focusing on. We can make some changes here. We can make some changes to our own lives. How do you manifest? What you focus on is what you're going to manifest. Why? Because the uh, the universe is sitting there waiting to know what they want, what we want them to do. And then they go ahead and go through the process of the creation energies with all the natural kingdoms and all of the, the atoms and adamantine particles are coalescing together as a result of what we want. The massive fulfillment centers or the, the, the ma center, the massive, whatever you want to call the universe, I, it doesn't matter. It's the fulfillment of all of the things that we want. And we don't know, we don't realize that we're telling them things that we don't want because we're focusing on things that are negative. Can you see why it's so hard for us to make a change in the right direction? Especially if we don't understand these creation energies. And if we, especially if we cannot be in a position where we can become knowledgeable of what we're doing. 
that way you can change. If you go back into your just yesterday, how many times were you thinking of the things from the past? Or things that are minutia right now that, that really have no creation energy necessary. You're just doing things. You're going shopping. You're preparing dinner. You're taking care of the kids. Along with that comes all kinds of energies that we have created for that purpose. And so we're doing that. But how many times do we focus on our creation energies to create the things that are not in our life that we want? How much energy are you giving to the universe for the things that you want? It's a good question. How many times a day do you gather your thoughts together Calm yourself. These are the things that I want. But I'm going to start focusing on it. I'll get a vision board. I'll do whatever is necessary. And each individual has their own opportunity to use their own personal, unique ways of creating for themselves, for the things that they really want. But you got to take control of it. You got to know that you are already creating everything in your life. Nothing in your life has not been created by anybody else but you. I create the things of my life. I am the creator of those things. I didn't create them for somebody else. I created them for myself, perhaps unknowingly, but I can change that because I'm the creator of the experiences of my life. That's I'm the Lord God of this being. There is no other God before me. Feel the power in that statement. There are no other gods before me. I am the Lord God of this being. I am in full control. And yet I let other people have an experience with me that might be negative. Am I doing things for other people's thinking I'm a good person? Is that the way your life is being run to please other people? Who's their God? Who's the God in charge of all that? It's not a God. It's a cabal. We have to change. If we want to find the things that will bring us the joy and the happiness that we want, we have to change our focus from the bad stuff to the good stuff. The more moments in a day that you can remember this, the more you're going to create the things that you want. How do I create things? How do I manifest things? You are the one in charge. And you're doing it right now. You're focusing on things. And those things are being fulfilled by the universe. Because you are creating. You don't know it yet. Because you don't know that you're a creator. You don't understand who you are in the hell that has been created here on earth. There's no worse hell than there is on this earth. And you can continue to create that kind of hell that feeds the cabal the, all of their power. Or you can change. 
and the more people that want to change and the greater the ability that they find out that they are the ones in charge of their life, then they can change. And this can become paradise. This can become the golden age of mankind. How do we get there? One step at a time, one focus at a time. It's the collective focus that matters. How do you create something? You focus on it. And all of the power is there behind our focus to fulfill what we want. Okay, Ron, that's I, just awesome. I really awesome. hope that makes sense. That really yes. got us off to a great start, and it's just such a great point that you make. It actually is kind of great because it leads into the next comment. I'd like you to take a little bit of time to summarize for us. And so I'm going to have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mouse come in, and they can ask you that, okay? Would that be right? Okay. Thanks. Okay, great. Uh, yes, you touched on a myriad of things. So let's um, address this one point is if we want to get what our heart wants, uh, do we, we should not allow fear to change our thoughts or what is the best way to calm our mind so we can get what we want? Your mind will do what you want. <clears throat> uh, you just have to take control. You know, I, I was kind of losing I said to the heavens, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Said, That's a good thing. Come from your heart instead of your mind. Just the knowledge that we know we can change. That gives us the faith in what we can do. Now, faith is something that's coming. We can believe in it real hard and make it come faster. And when it comes, then we get into our knowingness, our ability to know what is true and what is not. And in that knowing, we're tapping into who we really are. You know, I came up with what the quantum financial system is just by thinking about it. Well, it has to be this way because you can't do this and you can't do that. It's got to be this way. I was right. It has to be that way. And you can have things that you're responsible for to be the way that they're supposed to be for you. In whatever endeavor is your passion, in whatever endeavor is your passion. That's your love manifesting. So if you don't have passion in what you're doing, then do something different. I hope that helps. Thank you, Ron. That's a great answer. Are uh, you ready for the next uh, topic or point? Off we go. <laughs> okay. All right. So once we've asked for something to the universe and you know it is your true interest of what you want, uh, should we just release it from our thoughts and allow it to just happen and not make any other changes or allow others to change it for us? Well, the, the best way to do that is to find things that support it in your life. Find things that you can think about that will support what you're trying to accomplish. That's why a vision board is so good. You created it yourself. These are the things I want. That's a statement that you've already made to the universe. The things that you can do behind that or to it are creating doubts and fears in yourself or in your abilities. I ask for something and then it doesn't come. And I say, well, I guess I wasn't worthy for it. 
Well, the the idea that you go back to I wasn't worthy for it is the reason that you didn't get it. You canceled your asking. You canceled what you're wanting. I'm not ready for it or I don't I don't deserve it or any one of a thousand different things to cancel out what you've asked for or what you want. So find things that support what you've just asked for and focus on them and focus on the idea of finding more and more details about what you want. Dom knows what I'm talking about because it's happened for him. In finding his house, he had it on a vision board. Yeah, and Ron, I got to tell you that just to, to the members here that you're absolutely correct. This example is perfect because it worked for me. My wife and I had a, developed a vision board of our, um, our home, our, our, um, our home that we all wanted to get, we both wanted to get. So we started putting things on the vision board. Well, it got buried in a previous home until we moved into the new home. We did not know we had the vision board till we pulled it out. And every single thing that we put on that vision board was in the new home, our home of our dreams, so to speak, that we put in. So it does work. And it has worked. Well, the Alliance knew what you wanted. And you didn't cancel it, see? You may have put it out of your space for a while, but not out of the space of that which is the fulfillment center for you. <laughs> uh -oh, that's just beautiful, Don. Yeah, Ron, what a beautiful wonder, example. And I wonder, Ron, if we all created our vision boards for our CACs and for what we think we want those to look like and start really stepping into those things, if that wouldn't do the same. Of course, I know the answer to it already, but I'm putting out that for everyone to think about. Well, why is it taking so long? Because we're not doing the things that needs are necessary to bring it on. Now, we don't kick ourselves around the block for that. We just say, oh, well, I can change. And so we start doing things that are more appropriate, that will, that will support our wanting. And we can focus on that. Focus on the details of your house, what you want. Create as many details as you possibly can. What do you want? What, what kind of roof do I want it? Do I want brick or do I want stucco or do I want sidings and all that sort of stuff? All of those things are details that you can focus on. And you can focus on them and tell enough that you say, hmm, that's exactly what I want. Universe, are they listening? See, we've got to get out of our third dimension thinking. We have to learn who we are and get back to that. Give up the things that are not true. Search your life for the things that are not true and say, I no longer want that in my life. The Bible teaches us to worship. We should worship Jesus. We should worship something outside of us. And that doesn't work. If you worship something outside of you, then you don't know that you're the God that you want to be. You think it can happen for prime creator, but you don't realize it happens for every one of his creation or creations, which are us, born in the likeness and image of God. See, we can do this thing. We can change. It's just a conscious effort that we need to put forth. And the more you put into it, the faster it will change. So don't come home from work and kick your shoes off and watch the news. That'll drive you crazy. Or take you away from where you want to go. And those are things we need to learn in our lives. Let's go on to the next question. OK, 
Okay, um, Jim or, or Mr. Or Mrs. Mouse, can you give the next question, but give me like 10 seconds while 